God, that sounds bad. Yeah, it does sound a little bit bad. But, okay. Yep, timer's starting now. 45 minutes, you may begin. 40 versus 41. Yep. You can start. But Prisma start is a brick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Prisma isn't a brick. It's a... It's like a starter. But... It's weird. It's not It's not a room heart. But it's still good. Special out. Red Blair. Yeah. Active Fire Flint Lady. Voted Mackie the second look. He won the dice. Crazy. Okay, okay. I want to see... Who voted for what? So we got 54% on Mackie and 46% on Loki. They're both playing Infernoble. Loki won the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. I mean, you know, I would like to think that they have the advantage playing the mirror match going first with combo. Aqua Dolphin, Discard Book of Eclipse. Look at the opponent's hand. They said, oh. That's not good. Reading real quick. Oh, do they got the goo in the hand? Oh, they got the goo. Because they said, oh, let me read. Reading in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, but okay. They have no monsters in their hand. So, oh, they do have a monster. Okay. Nah, no monsters. Oh, there's no monsters. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If there's no monsters, then they don't take 500. You only take 500 if you have something with lower attack. But they're going to go... Well, if they have something with a greater attack. He's probably reading the Del Diabellister or what. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. But they're going to special back out from the graveyard. Overlay. And then activate the effect. Go search. Grab Renaud. Five spell hand, nice. Oh no, they had a monster, they had a monster. Well, no, they didn't have a monster, that's true, because they said, nah, no monsters. Okay, I got confused there, because they said the minus five. Yup, but okay, run on add back. That's good. And then, link off into an Appaloosa. Nice. So, they know what the opponent has, but if we can set up, like, Appaloosa... Plus setting up, like, you know, the ring. Plus setting up, like, some other interruptions. Like, that should be good. They have Angelica, the Synchro 5 setup. So, summon, effect on summon, go search out museum. Yeah, activate museum now. And then pay 12, go search. Like, you'd want to just say this is game... But maybe it's not. Turpin effect to equip. Angelica effect. Tag out. Summon. Dump. Yeah. But okay. Okay. You can't help but think that this is just game right here. Maybe they have... Something... To beat this. They could have, uh... Like the sinful spoils card that we saw. Activate, try to put Appaloosa into the spell and trap zone. Also, that card is super sick in this deck because the Diabellister, like the Sinful Spoils that targets one monster on the field, put it into the spell and trap zone. You can use that on yourself in this deck and then, like, you know, try to bring it back out. Uh, I was actually talking to the Infernoble player that bubbled at the YCS, I don't know what place they got, but like 34th, 35th, something right around there, and they were telling me about that, and I was like, oh, that's, that's crazy, like actually getting to use that card on yourself to try to extend, but activate Alamace, make Emperor Charles, and then activate the effects, so they're gonna go ahead, add back, and then equip the Emperor Charles, okay, they have Emperor Charles that they can summon out. Or not Emperor Charles, but Gear Free that they can summon out from the hand by banishing. Okay. And then activate the Phoenix Blade. They have the end phase attach. 
Yeah, go end phase attached now. God, there's too many counters everywhere. Like, I know this is to show that these are matching and these are matching, but then there's also just a three right there for that. So equip it end phase, and then pass turn. Or have they, have they popped yet with this? No, they haven't popped. Okay, so what, they're going to pop this then? Think if pop. I mean, you probably do, right? Yeah, I was going to say, there's no reason not to. Affect a pop. And then effect to put back and draw. So we're getting to draw one here. Nice. Yeah, just go ahead, put back one, two, three, one more. Alright, nice. So put back, draw one. And then pass turn. Maybe draw onto a hand trap if they play them. Like an ash blossom there. Or any more interruptions would be good for them. A draw would be huge. Okay, now what does Mackie have to beat this? Or can they beat this? Because this is Appaloosa with 24 attack, Spell Trap Negate, Spell Negate, a Pop, Gear Freed. Well, this stops it, right? Each turn negate the. Yeah. Yep. So that'll negate that and shut that down. So, Appaloosa against five spells. Not so good, maybe. 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 But all the spells are pretty much just trying to get to monsters. So, Appaloosa for sure will do something. For sure. At the bare minimum, it's going to be like Threatening Roar. And they have to go like Battle Phase, beat over it, and then play in Main Phase 2, which means that they get to live. But now, Activate. Yup. <sighs> activate to put into the Spell and Trap Zone. So that's going to target the Appaloosa, put that into the Spell and Trap Zone. That's a good card in this scenario, getting to out that. And then also, this has its draw set up already. So good when they keep drawing the Wanted plus the Snake Eye, and the opponent keeps stopping the Wanted, just giving so much value out of the cards. Because it's like, now we've baited through two interruptions. And then we get to activate the put back and draw. So good, so good, so good. So banish, put back, draw. Oh, they're thinking on that. Oh, they're going to Ash Blossom that. That's crazy. Did they, did they actually draw Ash off this? That's broken. That's broken. So Ash that. Stop them from getting a draw. Just literally Ashing Upstart Goblin. But I guess if they know everything in their hand... Then they can afford to do a normal OG here. And then no effective OG here. Ash Blossom needs banning too broken. Hey yo, chill. Ash Blossom's a fair hand trap. Yeah, they're gonna go effect to equip and then effect a pop, and they just submit defeat. So going on to the next game now. We are going to get to see Mackie go first. But you know, huge advantage for Loki compared to last game. Well, I wouldn't say advantage this time, because obviously the advantage is in Mackie's side. But going second-wise, you know, Mackie had to go second game one with their blind main deck. And now Loki gets to go second game two, knowing that they're going second into a combo deck. So they're going to be siding in all of their, like, non-engine cards that they can. Uh, and some of the high impacts, too, like Droll. And then, let's see. Alright, Mackie's going first this game. They said, uh... And they're definitely not bricking. They're definitely not full bricking or anything. Yeah, they're playing big combo deck. Activate Renaud, or normal Renaud. Activate the Rendell, the Rendell effect to go ahead, destroy and search. Grab out maybe like a Fire Flint Lady or something. Yeah, grab out Fire Flint Lady. Anything on res? Oh... No Droll. Nice. Special Outfire Flint Lady. But this also looks like the type of hand where, like, an Imperm on a Sold could go huge. So, Sold Effect to go Surge. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to stop the first effect. Otherwise, an Extender hurts so bad if they have it. That's a really weird start. Yeah, not a good start at all. Grab out Connector for the follow-up. And then a sold effect to go dump and summon. 
So they will go ahead, dump for cost, uh, dump Phoenix Blade, DDR, and Angelica's Ring. Go summon out Aqua Dolphin. Wait, is that really what we do? I was going to say, there's no shot, right? Because we wouldn't have grabbed Connector if we were going for Aqua Dolphin next. So we're going to dump four and then go summon. Bring out the Ogier. Ogier effect to go dump. Okay. Yeah, go dump Turpin or Gear Freed. Yeah, dump the Gear Freed. Okay, there's plenty of time left, right? Yeah, there's plenty of time. Like 35 minutes left. Activate Joyous, Joyous Effect, grab back Gear Freed, destroy that. Oh, grab back Renaud. Oh, I guess it makes way more sense to grab back Renaud. That's right, because we haven't used that. We normaled it earlier. So special Renaud, Renaud Effect. Now that can just go ahead and grab back Gear Freed. Yup, that gives us Angelica Synchro 5 setup. Plus Gear Freed. So summon... Activate the effect on summon. Go ahead, search out the field spell. Grab out museum. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think, because we want to set up Gear Freed soon. We definitely want to set up Gear Freed soon, but we want Angelica to tag out, go dump, summon Captain Roland. And then, oh, they're going to grab the actual trap card. Okay, okay, okay. It's not expecting them to grab that. Um, so that's a pop one. But now, banish, grab back Phoenix Blade. Said, oh, are you the guy on Inferno Lab that plays Horn? No idea. Did they say yes? I said no, okay. But, yeah, playing the horn is weird. That's not common at all. I haven't seen that card in a very long time. But they do play it, and that is an extra interruption. You know, an interruption that's also not just in the monster zone. But it's not like this deck loses to Dark Ruler anymore because they have Angelica Ring. They can still get hurt by it, but you're going to have to at least do other plays first before using Dark Ruler. But dump Turpin, bring out the Captain Roland. It's still crazy, though, that, like, what are the two decks? The The finals is an Infernoble Mirror. It's very crazy, because there's only two Infernobles in the tournament, and then the finals is Infernoble Mirror Match, and they both made it to the finals. Hey, shout out to Farfa for the raid with 1,002 people. That is crazy. Yo, what is up? What is up? All the, all the jewels. All the stuff. Oh, man. My computer can't even handle all this. I'm not even going to lie. But thank you. Shout out to everybody that's coming. Thank you. Thank you. No sus. But okay, okay. They're going to go ahead and bring out Emperor Charles. Yeah, honestly, y'all showed up at the worst time because this is the finals of the tournament that I'm hosting right now. And the finals is an Infernoble mirror match. I don't even know how. There's only two Infernobles that were in the tournament. But. The finals is an Infernoble Mirror, and yeah, I don't know how we got to this point. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. But they're going to set the horn, which is the pop. They have Emperor Charles. They have Gear Freed. So they have Spell Trap Negate, pop, pop, Monster Negate. So they have four interruptions plus the Spell Negate off of the Angelica. So they have five known, but a Hand Trap could also help. So what Master Duel Field Skin is this? The best one. Oh god, yes. Oh god, yes. Please ban Maxi and Master Duel. I want to play it again. Because I'm probably... I might end up playing it tomorrow for the Duelist Cup thing. Because I got to level 20 in the Duelist Cup level thing. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't even... I'm probably going to end up playing Pearly too if I do play. Infernoble is powerful. No cap. Yeah, the deck is definitely powerful. But... I'm just surprised it's doing this well, I'm not gonna lie. The deck is, like, known for not being able to go second. But, maybe I'm just wrong about that. I mean, we saw GG Jibreel play this deck at YCS Indy this weekend. Uh, went X2. And, I mean, you know, that's a good player playing Infernoble. 
There's got to be some reason why. But activate Almace. Okay, and then normal connector. Connector effect, chain gear freed. Shut that down. And then... So can Infernoble run Lava Golem Sphere Mode? Do they need their normal summon? Nah, they need their normal summon. So they can't really run that stuff. But yeah, usually they just play like high impact type cards because they can't play that many going second cards. To be fair, the Sinful Engine helps going second. Oh, for sure, for sure. Because uh, at least Mackie is playing... Uh, I forget the name of it, but the one that puts it into the Spell and Trap Zone. That card has been helping them a lot because they've been drawing that with the Rota. They just go activate Rota, the opponent negates it, activate, puts the spawn trap zone, they negate it, and then they just go banish, put back, draw one, and it's like, now we've gone through two interruptions with only using one card, and we haven't even used our engine yet. But they're going to activate Horn there to pop, which is also surprising that like they're playing Horn. It's not very normal. Uh, now Durendal try to summon back because they popped the Oliver while it was equipped with Durendal. So they actually do have a decent amount of space for non-engine to be fair. Well, it depends how you build the deck. But, the, you know, they have some space. They have some space. It's not like, uh, it's not like some other decks where they have infinite space. Like, like a Vanquish Soul List or something. But it's fair because they're a big combo deck. But Banish Ricardito, bring out Ogier, Ogier effect to go dump. That's fine, or maybe, maybe that's not fine. Maybe that's not fine. Hmm. They're going to dump Turpin. So what are they going to do from here? So what we have the pop set up. They have... Turpin and Grave. We don't know the card in hand. Decent. I don't know, but it's not Drytron. Gosh. Oh, oh. Yep, they just submit the feet. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, I tried. <laughs> no, but what I want to see is I want to see the Infernoble player going second actually be able to break the board. I want to see them actually break the board, which sucks for Loki here because I'm hoping that their board gets broken. But, you know, maybe we get to a grind game after they break the board. Yeah, going on the game three, though. Loki's going first, maybe siding in, like, anti-spell. Maybe something like that. We know that Mackie before, they were siding in... Uh, Warlords, so that wouldn't be a good going first card in this matchup, or a good card at all in this matchup. Obviously, mirror match. Playing connector while playing going second after side is strange. You can cut it for four spots. Yeah, I guess it depends, like, what you're cutting from your list, though. Because, like, I don't know, you also have to cut, like, all four spots there if you're cutting that. But they're going to go Rota for connector. And you still want to have, like strong normals strong plays but i have to see their list and also like what they have for the mirror match too but they're gonna go rota for connector connector effect chain ash blossom activate heritage of chalice obviously they don't have drool otherwise they would have dropped it earlier and then go for museum museum pay 12 go search yes that's tough go grab durendal Activate Durendal. Okay, maybe we'll see another hand trap later on though. But it's kinda it's kinda necessary, right? He definitely has Imperm or No Way You Ash Connector instead of a Sold. Uh Oh, that's crazy. But yeah, you won't be able to ash a sold because if Connector resolves, Connector brings out Aqua Dolphin and then Aqua Dolphin rips the Ash Blossom as the next play. So then you won't be able to ash a sold because it'll be ripped out of hand before that comes out. Um, said, yeah, just don't Ash, you get Talonsed. Uh, well, no, no, I mean, you know, if, the, if this is the only card you have, you for sure drop it on Connector Effect, because, I mean, you're not just gonna, like, willingly let your opponent full combo you for game. You may as well, like, attempt to stop them, and then, when they play through it, you know, they just had it, and they just had it there. 
but dump to bring out Ogier, Ogier, Effectigo, dump, dump out the Ricardito, okay, and then run out of Effect, so, I, I just, this card's so good in this deck, having the spell Trap Negate, or not spell Trap Negate, but having the spell Negate, like, just built into the engine, so broken, and then they're just gonna link off, make Appalooza, building a very good end board here, yeah, banish, grab back Phoenix Blade. Oh my gosh, all these jewels. <laughs> it's so crazy. There's just so much spinning going on. I couldn't imagine being like a, a huge streamer like Farfa and just having this, this fish flying around your screen every time you look over. It's so crazy. But it's full combo there. It's GG, unfortunately. Yeah, it's most likely GG's. It's going to be very hard for the mirror match to break this going second. Because, uh, you know, they're just full comboing and full combo's so nice. But Dump, Summon Out, Captain Roland. They have Phoenix Blade that they could add back. I mean, they don't really need it. Oh, okay. Banish, Special, this is level 4. Yeah, my bet relies on this. Bro has Dark Ruler Trust. Dark Ruler doesn't even beat the board because this stops Dark Ruler. Now, they could have double Dark Ruler. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Bro has two Dark Ruler Trust. Yeah, yeah, two Dark Ruler. Imagine? Nah, I'd be sick. I'd be sick. Especially in the finals game three. Okay, so they're going to go Museum, Pay 12, Search, Activate, Owl Maze, Phoenix Blade, Banish to Add Back. It's just so good. Link Off, make the Link 1 again. I think this is going to be the, the biggest board that we've seen from Infernoble, though. Having, like, the Appalooza, both the Link 1s, the Gear Freed Out. The Angelica Ring. They don't have Horn. They don't have Horn, but I don't think they play it. So I went neg 10k two matches in a row. How many points did you have? Said so Double Trials, Appalooza 3, Ring, Brutal, Gear Freed 2. Yeah, they have the Pop. They have End Phase, Equip, and then they can pop it right away. So then they also have a Draw at End Phase to try to draw Hand Traps. And game one, they drew Ash Blossom. So, oh, okay, okay. They don't go for the draw this time. They just go for Oliver. Okay, okay. Pass turn. Good luck. It's so hard to beat this. There's so much there. There's so much there. But okay, starting off with Activate Almace. And then... They're just going to negate and destroy that on the original activation from hand. Sure. Doesn't wait for the effect of it. Then they're going to go activate called by on Roland. Well, I guess you can't really wait for the effect of it. True, because there's this. True, 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 true. So they're going to also negate called by when they try to target the captain Roland. Shut that down. So now, okay, they baited through the two Link 1 Mons, or the two Spell Trap Negates. But now they have the Pop, Gear Freed, Spell Negate, Rota just baited it, and then Appalooza. Activate the Wanted poster now. Go Search. Yeah, grab out the Black Witch. That's fine. But what do they have in their grave? Yeah, they don't have a draw with that setup or anything like that. Uh, it doesn't activate, it just summons... Yeah, it just summons out. Discard DDR, special. Uh, yeah, that's just GG. I was going to say, like, yeah, that's just too much. That's just too much. GG, GG. Yeah. They can just gear free negate that, so that way they don't get the draw either. They don't get to set anything from deck. But I guess you can also just equip and then pop this. But then they'll set the, the one that can put Appalooza into the spell and trap zone and then use this to draw. But wow, at least an Infernoble one, <laughs> Infernoble best deck. Yeah, that's crazy. Has to negate, got negated by Angel Wing. 